What's up, conductors? Welcome back to another episode of All the Miniature Railways. The show where we visit all the miniature railways in the UK. Today we are here at West Lancashire Light Railway. Uh, it's got a nice steam train, proper authentic steamer. It's kind of a bit out in the sticks, it's not really close to anything. I mean, it's re reasonably near Preston and Southport, but. You know, it, it's actually quite self-contained, but it's got its own nice station, and it's got a nice cafe, which we are sat in right now. There's actually currently a birthday party going on behind us, so apologies for the noise. Um, quite looking forward to this one. Cheers. Hello, yeah, well, this is a great story here. This whole railway was built from scratch by a group of enthusiasts who were still at school. Uh, nearly 60 years ago they formed a plan to um, preserve old uh, industrial locomotives and they sort of built this railway up piecemeal on an old uh, claywork site. As Simon hinted it is quite out of the way although to be fair, there is a modern housing estate now being built around it, but hopefully that won't pose a threat to the continuation of the railway. And the coaches we're going on later were actually self-built. You know, they, they put them together themselves. Yeah, well, we're at the uh, beginning of the site here at Beckinsall. That's the uh, little cafe that we've just been in. And uh, yeah, really is amazing here. Um, you can see that the schoolboy six, they're absolutely amazing that you look at the age they were and uh, what they were able to do here. Yeah. It's going right back to the beginning of the railway and I think the first uh, locomotive that they were able to put their hands on and uh, this is the first engine arriving here where there was a brickworks which was still working at this point in time but that that's long gone and then it's all gradually being built up from scratch. And here's the, uh, this board shows you all the engines. I think the one we're going to go on today is the Irish Mail, which was... Yeah, I, I, saw, I saw the... Um, yeah, and uh, the boys bought it for £165. So I guess they raided their pocket money to buy this uh, wonderful engine. Uh, like I said, they've built two stations here. This is the main one, Beckinsall. At the other end of the line, it's called Delph. And uh, this is the booking office and shop. Right. Here's one of the other engines being worked on at the moment. This one's called Sybil. It doesn't have an actual cab to it. You can hear John Cleese shouting at this. Yeah. And uh, it's telling us not to cross the line here, but uh, you can see there's what looks like a little electric locomotive in the shed. Right, here we have uh, footage of the train itself. Coming in, this one's called Little Mail, I think. Irish like, Mail. Oh, Irish Mail, my bad. Particularly nice looking train. And we're getting that authentic steam train smell. So as you can see these carriages, these are the uh, homemade carriages. They look very similar to the ones in the uh, on the Scarlui line in the um, Reverend Audrey's Railway series. You don't have to get on it right this minute, Simon. They turn the engine round. 
Ah. Now we've seen the train being turned around. As you can see. We yeah. have to be safety conscious and uh, block the crossing while the trains uh, go in manoeuvres. <laughs> So as you can see, they don't have a turntable here. The train actually has to go round to the front. And so the brake van now becomes the end of the train. <coughs> Must run quite smoothly on the tracks because he's still got a brew uh, resting on the foot plate though, if you notice. And here he comes. There we are, we are connected. I think we're about to set off now, Simon. Locomotives 
to the house at this stage. a little bit rusty. We're also the original. Presume this is a flattened halt. Uh, uh, I doubt there's any other traffic on the line. We've got other stations, though, which is cool. Tickets, please. Okay. Getting a visit from Thank you. Yep, yeah, this is ticket check here. Thank you. Did you clip it so. every time we go for a ride? You just remember. If you want to clip, like, you can. <laughs> <laughs> well, it made trips as you like, stuff and all day. Yeah. Tickets, please. Well, starting to. Uh, have water dropping from the sky. Okay. Okay. Can't go any further because uh, to the back of us here it used to be a quarry. There's a brickwork along here and the, the embankments. A bit unsafe so that to, to do anything they'd have to reinforce it. And it's, uh, Lots of money, big bucks. Okay. Well, what we didn't realise here was that this is actually the end of the line. This is yeah. what's called Delve. Um, yeah. The car, there is a bit more track further on, but yeah, not so much so. the bank is too unstable to continue. Who knows? Maybe in the future they will be able to. We get a rich benefactor. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Maybe. I know you. Settle down. <laughs> Put your picture with the angel? Yeah. Not of the angel, with the angel. Oh, okay. Right, here we are, back on our way. I've got the gimbal this time, done a little bit more on what's on yeah. this side. Notice there's a plaque commemorating that the carriage was built in 1993. Very cool. No. It's a bit of a shame how short the ride actually is, but still there. Uh, nice, and you, you can go on it a uh, limited time, unlimited times while you're at the side. Close up of these uh, ballast wagons here.
like to give you all a very uh, big thank you very much for watching. I uh, do hope that you leave a like, you also subscribe, and share it with your friends. And if you have a particularly nice thing to say, comment it. And uh, if you have a not very nice thing to say, sleep with one eye open. Uh, thank you very much. See you later.